Hey everyone, greetings. Um, today I wanted to show you, and to tell you why I have decided to offer my doorbells, my 3D printed doorbells in two variations, and which are what I call yourself variation or the deluxe variation basically the difference is only that uh, the do-it-yourself variation only contains the 3d printed sculptural doorbell and the deluxe variation also contains a push button normally with a glowing LED and some mounting material and uh, mounting instruction which of course you get in the do-it-yourself variation as a PDF um, and I wanted to explain why there is uh, such a great, such a big price difference and the difference in shipping time and what difference it makes for me behind the scenes. So let's say you order the Dragon doorbell at my shop, at my shop. Okay, in the case of the do-it-yourself variation, if you order a doorbell, there will be a, an automatic um, there will be automatically a job created at the three D printing manufacturer. So. print so I don't have to interfere here or do anything the order goes straight from the shop to the 3d print manufacturer they print the object and send it straight to you so to the client and hopefully the client is very happy with the doorbell. Ah, he, <laughs> he looks more creepy than happy. So, oop. okay, that's happy enough. That's pretty straightforward and pretty easy. If, on the other hand, you order the complete variation, the deluxe variation, um, the order gets to me. That's me. That's me, um, and I will manually order the 3D print. I will order the push button. Oops, sorry. <laughs> I will order the push button. I will make sure screws, or let's say mounting material is at hand I will then then once the 3d print 
arrives at my house. Oh, and of course, that's uh, one time shipping cost. Okay, and we have one time shipping cost. So once the 3D printer arrives at my house, I have to unpack, unpack the 3D print and pack another part with all the with the push button and the mounting material. And oh, I also have to print out instructions. Okay, all of this stuff oops goes into a parcel then I have to then I have to manually address the parcel and bring it to the post office or whatever carrier uh, the parcel transports. So I call it post. And I have to bring it there, of course. <laughs> And then there is a, okay. Then it go and then it will be shipped to you. And there is a second shipping cost, of course. But hopefully you'll be equally happy <laughs> with the deluxe variation. Um, okay, the point being is that. Uh, this variation is much more labor intensive for me and there is much greater cost involved, especially if um, you're in the uh, United States or Canada because shipping from Germany to the US is rather expensive, whereas Shapewix has a printing 3d printing factory in the United States and so it's uh, domestic shipping if if they ship it from the US factory so the difference is you have a difference in shipping costs is you have a one-time domestic shipping cost whereas here there is this, there is a well it's more it's a domestic shipping cost in Europe it's about the same price but then there is the international but then there is the international shipping cost from me to you which is um, up to fifty dollars so to wrap this up the do-it-yourself variation is way cheaper for you but you have to organize a push button and the mounting material the, which should be pretty easy um, for the push button I will provide I will provide specifics uh, it's a 19 millimeter diameter And I will try to find some vendors in the US who sell them online. So I'll provide a website or a PDF where you can get, where you can order the fitting fish push buttons. Um, on the other hand, if you're unsure, of course, you are welcome to order the deluxe variation with all the additional cost and labor so i'm happy anyway and uh, well 
<laughs> uh, yeah, I hope you too. Okay, I guess that's that's it for this time. <laughs>